six days a week. But you know, I wouldn't trade the experience for anything. Because it gave me the material upon which I based the following poem. I think this piece is a perfect metaphor for my life, or for that matter, for the life of anyone who has experienced the emptiness of the industrial age. It's a poem titled, A Lone Striker. The swinging mill bell changed its rate to tolling like the count of fate. And though at that the tardy ran, one failed to make the closing gate. There was a law of God or man that on the one who came too late, the gate for half an hour be locked. His time be lost, his pittance docked. He stood rebuked and unemployed. The straining mill began to shake. The mill, though many, many eyed, had eyes inscrutably opaque, so that he couldn't look inside to see if some forlorn machine was standing idle for his sake. He couldn't hope his heart would break. And yet he thought he saw the scene. The air was full of dust of wool. A thousand yarns were on the pool. But pool so slow was such a twist. All day from spool to lesser spool, it seldom overtaxed their strength. They safely grew in slender length. And if one broke by any chance, the spinner saw it at a glance. The spinner still was there to spin. That's where the human still came in. Her deft hand showed with finger rings among the harp-like spread of strings. She caught the pieces end to end and with a touch that never missed. Not so much tied as made them blend. Man's ingenuity was good. He saw it plainly where he stood. He found it easy to resist. He knew another place, a wood. And in it, tallest trees were cliffs. And if he stood on one of these, t'would be among the tops of trees, their upper branches round him wreathing, their breathing mingled with his breathing. If, if he stood, enough of this. He knew a path that wanted walking. He knew a spring that wanted drinking. A thought that wanted further thinking. A love that wanted re-renewing. Nor was this just a way of talking to save him the expense of doing. With him, it boded action, deed. The factory was very fine. He wished it all the modern speed. But after all, it was not divine. That is to say, it was not a church. Now, he never would assume that he'd be any institution's need. But, he said then, and still would say, if there should ever come a day when industry seemed like to die because he left it in the lurch, or even merely seemed to pine for want of his approval, why, come and get him. They knew where to search.